Hello friends, welcome to Simple Mechatronics and 7 Multicolor LED Fan Wheel Make at Home Project Controlled by Atmega 16 Microcontroller A general purpose PCB with line tracks is selected for the project and lines are marked for 5 volts DC power supply and ground. This is the main circuit for the project controlled by Atmega 16 microcontroller. A 40 pin IC base is used for microcontroller. Disk capacitor, ISP port, and power indicator LED is connected. All the 7 RGB color LEDs used are tested. The leads are bent alternatively to separate the red, green, blue, and common connection leads. Insert the LEDs in a regular pattern, so that all the four leads should use separate track line. Bend the leads at PCB backside and check for straightness and same height. Now, solder them to the PCB. Check all LEDs using multimeter. In continuity testing mode, holding common and each color. Now solder the resistances as shown in the circuit. And once again test all the LEDs with respect to 40 pin IC base. Use hot glue gun to hold resistances properly in place. Insert the 40 pin microcontroller in its base carefully. Connect ABR programmer to ISP port. And write the hex code to microcontroller. On successful writing of code, a self-test routine checks all LEDs. The main circuit board is ready. Now, select a hard board. And affix the main circuit board using two screws. This is the 5 volt DC supply circuit for main circuit board using 7805 IC. Hold the 9 volts battery on the other end of hard board. Using screws and nuts. This is useful as counterweight to main board weight. Fix the PCB with switch on middle of hard board. This is regulated voltage circuit for speed control of DC motor through LM317 IC. Use a plastic sleeve on DC motor shaft and fix it below hard board. Make a suitable bracket for DC motor. Now, fix it with double-sided tape to prevent movement and rotation of DC motor. Take a plywood and suitably fix the DC motor with bracket. Fix carefully the combined hard board and main board assembly on motor shaft. Lift the plywood and check for balancing of weights. Add sufficient weight on low weight side. Again reassemble and check for balancing, until the board assembly does not tends to move or rotate any one side. Fix the 317 voltage regulator circuit on one end of plywood and check the motor speed. Take 3144 hall sensor, connect 3 wires for main board. Fix it on a lightweight bracket, and fix the bracket to the hard board. Take a permanent magnet and fix it on plywood, below the rotation path of hall sensor, with a small gap. Now switch on the power supply again and check the LEDs are responding near magnet. Switch on the motor power, you may enjoy the study text displaying in multicolors. With combination of two shooting jumpers, the text is displayed in three formats. Number 1 is 16 colors to each loop. Number 2 is 16 colors to each character. Number 3 is 3 RGB colors to each character. Now open screws to dismantle main board from hard board. Carefully separate them, without disturbing the connections. Then, use 90 degrees angle brackets, to fix the main board, perpendicular to hard board, using small screws and nuts. Place the assembly back on the motor shaft. Again check for weight balancing, and adjust the counterweights as per requirement. Tire wire is shown to avoid damage due to centrifugal force while rotation. Reverse the motor connection on 317 board. 
Check direction of rotation, gap between hall sensor and magnet once again. Now, switch on power supply for main board and motor. The text is displayed now horizontally. Use shorting jumpers to have three formats as described earlier. Have you enjoyed the project? Then, press like button. To view more projects, press subscribe button. Thank you for watching the video. More explanation and links for other projects are available in the description below. Bye friends, see you in another project.